Good day, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. We just wrapped up until dawn earlier this week, and I thought I'd jump right back into uh, into our next game. Uh, it's called Home. It's an indie game. It's, as you can see, a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. So, Benjamin Rivers, let's give it a shot. Uh, your game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half uh, and complete home in a single sitting. You know what? I think I have enough time to do that. Let's go. Turn off the sound, turn off the lights, check, and check. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Sorry, that actually hurts a little bit to do. Okay, so these these are our graphics, folks. <laughs> and this is our protagonist. He's going to need a name at some point. Um, can he do anything? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I can I can move the flashlight up. Okay, fair play. Let's keep going, then. That house, where was I? That's an excellent question, protagonist. Let's keep going. Be ca oh. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Okay. <coughs> oh, <laughs> kitty. You'll pay for that. My dear friend, that looks like stairs, so let's not go in there yet. Oh, folks, the the way the footsteps echo. It's unsettling, isn't it? Okay, what do we got? Books, various books, a computer. The desk had a computer and some papers on it and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the... Oh, that's interesting. It kind of like it's... Uh, you're, you're making up the story as you go, it seems. Did I open the drawer? I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit here, folks. Yes, I did. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Excellent question, sir. Oh! That's probably just peanut butter. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh, man, I had to get out of there. Don't know why I threw an accent on that. Hey-ho. Let's keep going. Never mind the body in the hallway. That's nothing to worry about. Okay. We're going downstairs, folks. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. Uh, all I could really, all I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. Good, good idea. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, creaking. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. Okay. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife. I guessed. Uh, there was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? No. I figured this was no help to me, so I left it behind. That's really cool, the way that they're kind of telling the story. As it's happening. I don't know. I think that's kind of neat. Okay, echoey footsteps. Let's keep going. Oop. More stairs. A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Absolutely. There you go, little fella. Let's go. Ooh, folks. Everything just by, by flashlight is, is it's a little creepy. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp-smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? C clearly someone's a shovel enthusiast. You can't, you can't fault someone for that. Hello. I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Yeah, all right. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Okay. Let's try to find this source of clicking, if you will. Let's see. Let's check this floor first, then we'll check upstairs, too. Mm 
No, nothing on this floor. I'm just gonna check upstairs again real quick, folks, just to see if there's anything there. Because, you know, you never know. Okay. Allow us to keep exploring. The roof is, uh, leaking. I don't know if anybody else saw that. Anything up here? Nope, just blood. Just blood, which apparently is on us as well. Uh, here we go. I'm just gonna check the other room up here just to see if anything else opened up with that fancy... Oh, sorry, body. Don't mind me. <laughs> this is where we were originally. Nope, no changes there. Let's keep going. Okay. What are we gonna call this guy? This fellow needs... needs a nickname. He needs an alias since the game did not give him one. I'm sure the program... Er, excuse me? I don't like the sound of that. What's this way? That switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Oh. Okay. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I might have moved it, right? Yeah. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Oh boy. I'm gonna come back to that ladder in just a moment. Just wanna keep exploring this. Folks, what should we call this fellow? He needs he needs a name. The developer of the game was probably like, Gah! I knew I forgot something. Forgot to name the protagonist. Uh by the smell I guess it led to the kitchen. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. Okay. We don't need to go to the kitchen. You guys aren't hungry, are you? I look like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. Okay, let's go in here. The bathroom was incredibly clean. Every surface had been thoroughly wiped, and nothing seemed out of place. No bathroom looks like that. Let's see. Oop, what's this? There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like the tree or looked like treetops. Treetops, eh? Very well. Let's go to the left, and then we'll. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Okay, furniture. Rather than disassemble you, I will just keep exploring. Wait. That ominous thunder worked really well. As we walked in front of the kitchen, that's now open. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I could only make out a few of the notes. Keycard, locker, last one, I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. Oh, there's there's a little, a little mouse friend again. Hey, buddy. See him go by there, folks? Okay. That's about it for the kitchen. That's okay. Let's go over to that ladder. See what else we can find. Folks, tell me what to name this fellow. Uh, there was a ladder going underground where the box was... Uh, where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yeah, you did. My leg hurt like hell as I climbed down that ladder. The tunnel below was even darker, and the smell wasn't getting any better. But I had to get out of there and find my way home. Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Footprints in the dirt looked like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Traffic's bad this time of day. Hello. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Interesting. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wheat. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. Let's do that. Oh, Rachel, please be okay. I wanted to rush home, but I had to find a way out first. And I needed to see what else was down there. That's ominous. What is... Th oh, okay. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? Uh, 
hooks. Rusted hooks like the kind you'd find in a butcher hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? Sorry about that, folks. Uh, crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind, or uh, some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. Okay. Another ladder down. Jeez, what's this? It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Let's hope it's not blood. I'm going to go down the ladder in just a moment, folks. Just wanted to see what else I could find. A desk. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old, faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. Ha. If. Ha. Ha. Oh. Ro. None of it made any sense to me. Ooh. He has a door. What's this? There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and their remains looked old. Who put them here? Is that it? Okay. That's it for this room, folks. Maybe that mouse that we saved is going to help us. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that. Did they? I don't know. Let's see what else is down here. It just keeps getting worse, folks. Creepy, too. Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? Okay, so our protagonist's clothes are here. That's... Wow. What is that terrible noise? I hate bats, folks. <laughs> I hate bats. They're creepy. Okay. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Maybe let's not use the broken ladder, because I'd like to get back up at some point. What's this? I hear whispering. That creeped me the hell out. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. That's what I'm hoping, too. Hello, skeleton. Were you the one that was whispering to me just now? I had the rope now. There must have been a use for it around here somewhere. Oh, dear God. This is creepy. The rope I found would have let me climb down the uh, broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes, you did. I could hear a faint hum, and the smell from before started to get worse. Uh. Okay. Okay. What's this? A bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together. Uh, a message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger due to cave-in. So that same sign, and until dawn a couple times. Whoa. Noises are becoming ominous. It's unsettling. Is there anything else in here? I'm going to take this quick moment to have some coffee, folks. Bear with me a second. Okay, let's keep going. I brewed that for the occasion of this Let's Play. My hands tingled from the burn of sliding down that rope. It was lucky I found that. Who knows what would have happened if I had jumped down. Still, it was all I could do to not have a rushed... Uh, to not have rushed out of that awful place. That rack, those terrible tools. What the hell was going on back there? The metal door groaned as I leaned into it, causing my heart to skip a beat at the sound. As I peered ahead into the dark of the next room, I worried that I should have taken the gun I saw. But me? With a gun? I didn't see a gun! What are you on about? An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there, but it was so high up... That must have been a sore landing. I didn't see a gun earlier, did I? There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. That'll take me up, but let's let's go to the right. 
could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? No. I was relieved to leave the filthy knife right where I found it. Yeah, don't don't touch the knife. Should I go up that ladder? I don't really want to go out the exit quite yet. Let's let's just head back. See what's up there, right? Hmm. Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? That's a good question. Do I want the tape? Sure, I'll take the tape. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Okay. Let's go. Didn't take the knife, but I took the tape. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going this way a bit, folks. Before we make our way to the exit... Whoa! Okay. Okay, then. So many rooms to explore. Well, folks, what I might do after hearing that awful, awful noise, I'm going to end this video. Um, and in the meantime... Uh, should I? Hey, I'll keep going a little bit. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Then we're not going to touch it. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? <laughs> Go for it. Did that do anything here? Through the dust, I could see handprints from previous use. Probably from whoever worked in those sewers. Hmm. Okay. Number two. God, another, another door. This goes on forever. Yes. Okay, we've hit valve one and valve two. Let's keep going. Valve three. Uh, did I pump it? Yeah, yeah, let's turn it. And did I turn, yeah. We will turn all the valves. The valve was still active. Did I turn it again? Whatever these valves did, this one wasn't pumping water anymore. Did I turn it again? Yes. Oh dear. Whatever these valves did, this one wasn't pumping water anymore. Uh-oh. I think I turned the valve too many times, folks. How about you, two? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's not pumping either. Am I supposed to be doing it this way? I'm not really sure. Okay. So did I turn off the water on all of them? Let's just let's just test this out, folks. I like this protagonist. He's a swell guy. Okay, so I turned all of the valves off. Was that smart? I'm not really sure. Okay. This hasn't really told me anything. So, door was locked. Guess I'll try the exit door then? I don't I don't really know what that did. Oh, that's the kitchen knife. Did I take the knife? No. No. To the exit. Turning those valves must have drained the water that was in this room. There was a ladder I could reach. Okay, folks, that seems like a good place to stop. So before we head downstairs or down this ladder after turning off those valves, I am going to end this video. And once we return, we shall continue to explore. Thanks very much for joining me, folks. I shall see you next time on Let's Play Home.